Hello friends this is Reena from Vitish Academy in our previous video we have discussed about geometric progressions now in this presentation we are going to learn about the general term of a geometric progression so first let us consider a as the first term of a geometric progression and r be the common ratio so here we have said that a is the first term of the geometric progression then what would be the second term so we get here second term just by multiplying the first term with the common ratio that is r and now let us talk about the third term of a geometric progression so it would be obtained just by multiplying the second term with the common ratio r so this would come as ar square and this is i am trying to explain you how these terms of a geometric progressions are formed here the first term is a and we can write a as a into r per 1 minus 1 becomes 0 and its value would be 1 so the value remains unchanged and similarly the second term is here ar as we have discussed earlier so this we can represent as a into r power 2 minus 1 and similarly the third term here is ar square and this we can represent as a into r power 3 minus 1 similarly we have the fourth term as ar cube and this can be represented as a into r power 4 minus 1 and so on So by observing all these patterns we can note that in each term the exponent of r is one less than the number of terms so by this we can assume the 17th term of a geometric progression so 17th term would be here a into r power 17 minus 1 which means one less than the number of terms so this would come as a into r power 16 so basing on this concept we can derive the formula of general term of a geometric progression so it is denoted by tn and it is given by a into r per n minus 1 now let me explain this concept with the help of an example so here we have to find the tenth term and also the nth term of a geometric progression 3 divided by 2 comma 3 divided by 4 comma 3 divided by 8 so in this given geometric progression we have the a value which is nothing but the first term as 3 divided by 2 and we can find the common ratio just by dividing the second term with the first term so we get here 3 divided by 4 whole divided by 3 divided by 2 so the denominator terms get reciprocal and we get this as 3 divided by 4 into 2 divided by 3 so we can cancel over here 3 and 3 in the numerator and denominator and again by simplifying we get 2 one time is 2 and 2 two times is 4 so therefore we get the common ratio as 1 by 2 So as here we have to find the tenth term. So let us substitute the values of a and r in the formula. So we get here three divided by two into r value, which is given as one by two whole power n minus one. Here n minus one would come as ten minus one. So this would come as three divided by two into one divided by two whole power nine. That implies we get this as three divided by and in denominator we observe that the bases are equal. So on adding the powers, we get this value as two power ten. So this is nothing but the value of tenth term of the given geometric progression. Similarly, let us find the nth term. So let us substitute the values over here. So we get this as three divided by two into one divided by two whole power n minus one. So this would come as three divided by two into one divided by two power n minus one. So this would come as three divided by and in denominator we observe that the bases are equal so let us add the powers so we get here 2 power n minus 1 plus 1 here we can cancel over minus 1 and plus 1 and this value would come as 2 power n so the general term of the given geometric progression is 3 divided by 2 power n so this was the basic introduction on general term of a geometric progression hope you understood the concept refer to more videos on our website vidish academy thanks for watching have a good day